It's Wednesday, October 24th. <laughs> What's that? I was going to say something, but then I forgot my name. And <laughs> it, all just, it all just ended. <laughs> I'm Josh Ramey. Caleb. This is Krista. Sarah. This is Katie. And it's time for the grunt. That was, that was cold, bro. Hang on. Well, let's see what he's saying. I can't do this. He's I'm not nervous anymore. Hey guys. I'm not no Josh. I can't smile and talk. I cannot. Uh, I can do that. I can do that. So here's a little preview. I messed up. Oh my gosh. I did it good that time. Why do you keep doing this to me? One more time. It's Wednesday, October 24th. I'm Olivia, and it's time for your morning announcements. University reps from WVU will be here during homeroom on October 29th, and university reps from Concord will be here on November 9th. Teen Read Week results are in. Of 1,000 students surveyed, the top categories were mystery, romance, and fantasy. We don't really have enough time to go over the rest, but you can find the rest of the results in the Media Center. I'm Dave, and it's time for your weather. It's going to be a bit, a bit of a cold start this morning. Temperature, temperature's around 50 degrees, and it's going to warm up to about 70 by lunchtime with partly cloudy skies and winds at a southwest at 5 miles per hour. That's it. Back to you in the studio. Students and staff are reminded to stay out of the kitchen. Health regulations state that only kitchen staff are allowed in. Grab and go breakfast, students are reminded to only get one breakfast. You can't get one for your friend, even if you do know their student ID. Here's a short film produced by The Daily Grind, called 127 Seconds. Enjoy. Book. Uh, just put it in the book drop. Okay. Oh my gosh. I just left my Applebee's gift card in here. Why would you come through? What's wrong? My book is stuck with my Applebee's gift card. Oh! Okay. Hello, I'm Joanna Elkins, and I am the health occupation teacher here at Lincoln County High School, and I'm here to talk to you today about Relay for Life. The date for Relay is May 17th. I know that sounds like a long time from now, but we want to get an early start. Um, 
our team this year is going to be dedicated to Aaron Hunting, a teacher that uh, from Lincoln County High School that passed away just a little bit over a month ago. Our team name is LCHS Panthers Hunting for a Cure. You can go on the Relay for Life website and register now. We, uh, in support of our team and in support of Mr. Hunting, we have created these reminder bands. And the students, Alicia Hale, it was her idea. She wanted to show some support for Mr. Hunting and to let everybody know how much he was loved and cared about and that we miss him. So if you see the reminder bands that people are wearing, they are showing their support for Relay for Life and for Mr. Hunting. You can get your band from any of the health occupation students or you can come down to my classroom, room 1045, and for a donation of $5, you can get your nice little reminder band. And uh, if you have any questions about registering for Relay for Life, I'll be glad to help out. Thank you for your support. Seniors, there are many scholarships that are available. A few are the Hunt Arnold Undergraduate Scholarship for African American students, the Promise Beyond Scholarships for students attending full time in the fall, or the Charles J. McCain Scholarship for students with a 3.5 GPA, 26 ACT, or 1190 SAT. For more scholarship, information, go to the counselor's office. Mr. Ice is challenging our students to learn the words to our school song. If you can recite them to him or sing them, he will give you 20 pesos. That's it for the news today. Thanks and have a wonderful day. All right, Panthers, don't forget to follow us up on our YouTube page or tweet us at LCHS Proud. And remember, don't use the cell phones during the school day.